you guys want to know how to install custom updates for Gorilla Tag. So as you can see, I have the current Gorilla Tag, the winter update, which is actually when I started, so obviously I need that, and the fall update because it just looks the coolest. Random household objects and the first version of Gorilla Tag. So this is only for PC VR um, players, so wireless, sorry. Unless you're using Airlink, then should be fine. So shout out to K9 because he's the one that actually showed me. I'll link this video in the description if I don't explain it as well. But yeah, K9, thank you. So then you want to go open a new tab and type in steam dot d steam db dot info. You want to type in gorilla tag. It's gonna show up as these ones. Just click on Gorilla Tag, not the early access supporter pack or Gorilla Soccer, whatever that is. Yeah. So yeah, just ta click on Gorilla Tag right here, and then you want to go down to Depots. Click on the ID, and then what you want to do, you want to click on Manifest, and then if you try to um. If you want to see more, you're going to have to sign in through Steam. So yeah. If you want to see more, you're going to have to sign in through Steam. Which is what I did, so I can access all of these. So, you can see. February. The 12th of February, 2021. So, two years ago. April 1st. Is that the April Fool's update? Not too sure. No, it was 22, right? Oh, yeah. It was after all of this. So, is there an April 1st update? April 2nd. Good enough for me. So April 2nd, 2022 for the um for the April Fools update. There is no April 2nd, so I think April 1st will just do. Highlight this. Make sure. Uh let me just go back a little bit. I need to find the code. Gotta scroll back a little bit. Including the betas. And today I'm gonna be downloading the Christmas update. So the way that you find the update that you want, you have to find the date that it came out on. And to find the date, you wanna go to the Gorilla Tag Steam page. Oh yeah, go to the Gorilla Tag Steam page. Or just look it up on Google. So yeah. Go down to X 7th. Uh, 7th, but there's December 6th, which should work. So just have that highlighted for now. And the next step is you want to go to your file explorer. Go up to the search. So open up your file explorer. And type in Steam. And then the two little dots. Slash slash nav slash console that will bring you to your steam console uh, it's right here. and type in steam colon dash dash right. so then once you find the update and hopefully i'm not doing this wrong oh. Oh, wait, yeah. so once you have this you want to 
find the manifest code, which you have the one that's highlighted. And then you just highlight it like that. Control C. And then Steam console. We want to put in download repo space 15 three 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 zero nine zero and then fifteen three 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 nine one and then y you um copied the manifest code you want to space and paste it right there and then you once you have all that in give it a second It does take a little bit because I think the April Fool's update is a little bigger. Yeah, 130 megabytes. So yeah, just let that sit for a second. Um, yeah. I will be. I'll be with you guys once it's done. So when it's done, it'll say download complete right here. And then it will give you the file location. So right before these um, quotients, I think. I don't know. You want to highlight it? Control C. You want to go back to your file explorer. You want to go to desktop. And then you want to paste that in. It will bring up this. So now you can close all of this. You can even go back one page and move it to your desktop. So yeah, that is how you do it. So this was the April Fool's update. You right click it. Oh no, I just deleted it. Oh no. Can I get that back? Please. I clicked on the wrong thing. Downloads. I gotta redo the whole thing. I don't know. Oh wait, it's in my trash bin. Open. No! You stay here. Ooh, that was a close one. So then you, you can go down to rename, which I don't know why they put it so close to delete. I mean, you could have at least put it right here to send to. But yeah, and click on rename. And you can name it whatever update it is, or and just have it the way it is. Which personally, I like to name them that way I never lose track. So yeah. That is how you download custom versions of Gorilla Tag. And you can see here I have the cus I have the current one and then I have all these ones. So yeah, that is how you download custom versions of Gorilla Tag for PC um, users. This only works on Steam, so you have to launch Steam VR, and then, so then what you can do is, um, let's go to the winter one. So, you need to have Steam VR launch, you need to double click on the one that you want to open, and then you need to click on Gorilla Tech. You cannot remove this, otherwise it will not load and it'll probably bring you up the current one. I had to learn that the hard way. Even with um, Creepy Nights at Freddy's, you can't even remove those from the files. So yeah, that is how you download um, custom Gorilla Tag updates. If you guys enjoyed and want more tutorials like this, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And um, yeah, goodbye!